Hey Tundra Nation, welcome back to the channel. Today on Tundra Tactical, we are going to be covering some Ask Tundra Nation questions in the third installment and episode of the ATN short-ish film here. Or, not film, what, what am I, like, in trying to imply quality, I guess. Uh, Lexi apparently really wants her belly rubs in this one. But yeah, we're going to cover some of the questions that you guys, the fans, want to watch. Go on, honey, you got to get down. Come on. Go <laughs> on. Uh, we're going to cover some of the fans' questions that you guys want asked and answered here on the show. Obviously, as you can tell, this is going to be li not live, but it's going to be uncut, unedited, as best we can do. Sometimes we have technical problems, uh, both with the operator and the equipment. Uh, and uh, yeah, so if you're interested, uh, join uh, our Discord server via the link in the description below. Um, hey, why don't you support the channel too? Uh, we got a ton of unsubscribed people watching this stuff. And we'd love it if you hit that subscribe button and rung the bell notification. We're getting a lot of reports of uh, people not getting notified of our videos. So let's dive in and show you what it's all about. First question is coming from Provo. And Provo would like to know, would you rather have a 308 with a rifle length barrel in a bullpup or a 556 with a carbine length barrel in a traditional layout for an SHTF uh, rifle? Uh, Provo, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the question, buddy. Um, uh, if you're asking that question, you don't know me or haven't been a part of the channel for a super long period of time. Um, I hate bullpups. I really hate them. Uh, the, the, the length and the linkage for the trigger, um, it just makes the trigger pull trash. I do not like loading my armpit. I found one bullpup that I've ever liked and that was the, uh, the Tavor, uh, X95. Um, and even that was a stretch for me. Like I had to really like it or like really say like, all right, yeah, this isn't complete trash. I can, I can find a reason to like this. Um, every other bullpup under the sun that I've ever shot, I've just hated with the searing passion and fire of a thousand suns. They just, to me, they are just the worst. Uh, doesn't make you a bad person for liking them if you do, uh, but uh, get a real rifle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I would absolutely take a standard platform 556. Um, all of my muscle memory is built off of that platform. Uh, and, you know, once again, based on just that statement, if all of your rifle muscle memory is built off of a bullpup, then, hey, you have your answer. Uh, but for me, it is absolutely not. Um, see if I can get this thing down, get ready for a crotch shot. Yes, I do wear pants while I do these. Erg. So this is my gun and this is what we shoot it on. Um, everything, <laughs> everything over the last few years for the, the videos, this is what we've run and um, I'm not switching. This has been one of the most fantastic builds I've ever, ever used. Uh, completely in love with the gun. It is one of the smoothest things I've ever shot. Uh, my buddy downstairs has a very, very nice, very expensive F1 and he usually puts his F1 away to shoot this, uh, it's uh, it's just fabric cobbled together and and, and all chooched up and ready to go. If you get those references, uh, we can be friends. Uh, next question, let's go into it. All right, come on, phone rotation. Uh, Rectech, Rectech wants to know what what editing software do you guys use for editing videos? Great question. Um, I love talking about uh, the channel like behind the scenes. So if you guys have questions that you want to know about that, or maybe you're starting your own YouTube channel. Uh, and you want to ask some questions based off of that, please go ahead and do so. Um, if it's relevant to the channel, firearms, even in kind of silly ways like that, go nuts, have fun. Uh, we use uh, Adobe Premiere, uh, the suite, um, or create the Creative Cloud. Uh, so we have pretty much everything. Uh, I think it costs $80 a month uh, to run the suite. Uh, we don't use it all. Unfortunately, we did uh, a while back when we were doing like skits. Uh, and, and big shoots, but since we haven't been doing a lot of that in the last couple of years, uh, the need for it has gone down. Uh, however, I still try to maintain my practice on it so I can use it in the future, i.e. like when I get out to Nevada. Um, so we do use the Adobe Premiere um, program and then After Effects for any, you know, keying or screening in the background. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a fantastic program. A lot to learn. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing in the world, but there's a ton of great tutorial stuff out there. Uh, I don't think that's something that we're ever going to jump into. Um, but uh, if you really, really want to know and you hear this, uh, shoot me a DM on Discord and I would uh, be happy to help you out if you have any questions relating to it, uh, if that is the reason for your question. Great question, though. I really like 
It's one of my favorite things to talk about is like editing styles, software, and all that stuff. If you don't know, uh, I'm the one who edits <laughs> the Tundra Tactical stuff. Uh, it was a lot more significant of a title back in the days when we were still doing shooting and it required skill. Right now it's just, oh, I screwed up, chop in a new take uh, and move on from there and then time out the, make sure the, the audio is uh, matching the video. It's all synced up, sunk, sunked up, synced up, who cares? Cheers. Uh, still drinking doers, uh, still, still running the cheap stuff, but we have some uh, nice stuff in the other room uh, that I'm saving for a special occasion, like maybe when we move. Finally get this uh, quarantine order lifted. Uh, all right. Trauma wants to know if you had to be quarantined with, <laughs> if you had to be quarantined with one gun tuber, who would it be and why? Wow. That is, there's a lot of them out there. <sighs> if I had to be quarantined with one gun tuber, who would it be? And why? Man, oh, that is a tough one. That is a tough one. I've, I've got an idea of my answer, but I'm really, like, I'm really split. Uh, I'm going to go with my gut here and just say Brandon. Uh, Brandon Herrera would be my number one pick. Uh, there's, I think there's a lot of better people to be quarantined with than Brandon, but, uh, I, I survive off of social interaction and entertainment. Uh, and I've watched Brandon, um, grind through social interactions for essentially days on end. Uh, so I know that he'd survive me and I wouldn't need to feel guilty about wanting to talk to people about stuff, um, without, you know, like boring him out of his mind or making him get sick of me. So I think Brandon, you could survive it. Uh, my next choice would be Mark from Fit and Fire, uh, just because he's like a level-headed dude and uh, there'd be a lot to uh, lot to talk about, a lot of entertainment to go on. And then I think maybe KB, uh, Codaboy32, would be another fun one to get quarantined with just because we'd be able to go to his range all the time and shoot with uh, all the crazy uh, crazy guns that he has. So that'd, that'd be a lot of fun. Johnny would be a runner-up, I think, uh, just because he's uh, he's a lot of fun too. So cheers. Great question on that one. Uh, let's move on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, another gun tuber related question. If you get arrested due to not complying with a red flag law, what gun tuber do you choose? Oh, what gun tuber do you choose to defend you? This is an easy one. Adam Kraut, uh, actual <laughs> second amendment attorney. Um, I don't know if that's something that he could specialize in, in terms of the defense of somebody. Um, but he would probably lead me in the right way. Um, I, I have a ton of faith in Adam. I know he does a lot of work for the community. Um, great work, Adam, by the way. Uh, doubt you'll ever see this, but hey, thumbs up from the background. Um, yeah, I would, I would absolutely choose him. Uh, if I was going to go for the less obvious choice, uh, now I would probably jump, uh, I would, pr I'd probably jump Johnny to the front here, uh, just because he's a super knowledgeable guy. Uh, Johnny has very quickly become like, he's gone from like the ultimate silly dude of the internet, like even more ridiculous than us to the only person that I actually trust getting information from. Uh, I I'm, I am just inherently skeptical about information received, uh, from everywhere essentially. Cause I don't trust the news. I don't trust the media. Uh, I very rarely trust, uh, articles and information that I read online. Uh, even if it's like a pro to a thing, you know, I have to think that uh, there's some information that's being skewed there uh, from a certain perspective or with a certain goal in mind, uh, because I know people do it regardless of what camp you live in. And it's been difficult to find, especially on like hot button topics for our industry, it's difficult to find a person or a group of people that can leave their own personal emotions out of a lot of these arguments. Now, there's a time and a place to get, like, fired up, right? You know, you definitely can do it. But Johnny, man, this guy, he, he's an absolute pro when it comes to delivering an information, delivering information even, in as best of an unbiased way as you possibly can get. Um, you know, he does the disclaimer bit. He tells people, okay, I might not know this, or I might not know that. I might not have all the information here. And that's, you know, that's a good cover your ass tactic. But once again, when you get the information, you're, you're understanding like, okay, his opinion might differ. Well, maybe not his opinion might differ from this, but 
you know, the way he's delivering it is in such a way that it is relatively neutral and it's, it's mostly information and as best to fact as he can get, uh, versus conjecture opinion and, uh, you know, a bunch of inflammatory comments that we all, uh, love to see, especially from people like the little guy or, or, you know, other gun tubers out there, uh, maybe not even gun tubers, but just other people out there that like to, uh, they like to get that chili hot. They like to stir the pot up. Uh, there's a time and a place for that, but, uh, yeah, I, I would guess that because of his ability to remain level-headed through very hot button topics and issues, he would be a good person to defend me against, uh, uh, non-compliance of a red flag law. So you have my vote, Johnny, have my vote of confidence. All right. Next question comes from Mr. Torg and Mr. Torg wants to know, what are your thoughts on 22 long rifle auto loading pistols? Uh, I don't know if you ever covered it. Haven't finished watching all of the older videos. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for going back through <laughs> the archives of Thunder Tactical and attempting to find the answer to that question by watching all of our old videos. You all out there in Tundra land could uh, take a lesson. Why aren't, why are you still watching this? Go back and watch all the old Tundra videos. I'm just kidding. Please don't click away, but still go back and watch all of the old Tundra videos, especially the pistol caliber carbine Christmas special personal favorite. Um, to answer your question, man, I don't think much of 22 long, uh, 22 LR 22 long rifle auto loading pistols, um, just because I don't have a great need for them. Um, I think that there are a lot of them out there that are very cool guns. Um, we can talk about the Ruger Mark IV here, uh, which is probably, if I had to pick a favorite, that's probably, uh, my current favorite. And the reason for that is, uh, you know, not the world's biggest fan of Ruger in general, but they do their, they do their rimfire stuff, right? Okay. They listen to what people want. And if you've ever owned anything prior to a Ruger Mark IV, like the threes or the twos or the ones, um, we, we in the industry, the retail side of the industry, I should say, we call them bag guns because somebody goes out and buys them or gets one on a trade or whatever, inherits one. They go out to shoot it. They take it apart. And then they show up to the gun shop with all of the parts in a bag saying, please, can you help me? I can't put it back together. And their soul is just pouring out of them and they're dying. This is grandpa's gun. And I think I broke it. And I'm not, I am kind of laughing at them, but I'm, I'm hopefully not coming across as too much of a dick in that situation. Uh, and I would say that, uh, the reason that the Mark four is my favorite is because it's almost like an AR 15 where you just pop a button, hinge it up, uh, pull the bolt carrier group out and you're pretty much ready to clean everything that you're going to need to clean for general maintenance. Uh, so great job Ruger, uh, putting that together. Yeah. You heard me praise a gun company. What is this? This, this is the new Tundra tactical. No, trust me. It's not. We're, we're going to get savage, uh, in, in some of our recorded videos coming up. By the way, there was a... <laughs> There was a, um, a comment on a TGC video that I just loved that I thought completely and perfectly summarized the channel. Um, he was, uh, John, I think was asking for, you know, what people's favorite YouTube channels were. And this guy actually said us, Hey, wh what a cool thing. Right. Um, and he was talking about, he's like, I really like the whole, here's the reason why your decision sucks style videos. And I thought, I was like, man, I should create a playlist and just put all of our videos in there and just call it the reason your decision sucks go and just watch it for hours and hours on end. So thanks for making that comment, whoever you are out there in Tundra land. I feel like I might be infringing on like some art bell stuff by calling it Tundra land. If you remember who art bell is, you're old enough to be friends with me. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so yeah, what do I think of them? Uh, not much, uh, but it's not because I don't think that they're good. It's just, I don't have a huge need for them. 22 auto loading rifles on the other hand, fantastic. Uh, uh, at some point in time, uh, a, a, you know, a, a decent 1022 or like a Taxol uh, will be uh, coming into my inventory. Uh, just haven't seen the need to purchase one yet. I know plenty of people with them. So maybe when I move, that might happen. But a 22 auto loading pistol, I will maybe get one when Meg starts to get into shooting a little bit more. I think we covered that in one of the other uh, Ask Tender Nation videos here. So let's see. We got, ooh, here's a good question from... Uh, operator Tony, operator Tony, a longtime supporter of the channel, great moderator, uh, and uh, general good dude, uh, definitely uh, steps up when he needs to, to help out. Operator Tony wants to know, when are you going to release the new channel info so we can subscribe? Great question, Tony. Um, so if you guys don't know the segment there, this segment is pulled directly from the live stream. Uh, and that live stream is ending at this point of the recording of this video in four more weeks. We just completed episode 96. So we got 
97, 98, 99, and 100 to go. Uh, and then on that fifth week, the, the week following, uh, the channel will, or not the channel, excuse me, the live stream specifically, all of the content that you're used to for Tundra Tactical will be staying here, like the silly videos and the hate and shade throwing and all that stuff. Uh, but the live stream will be moving to a new channel called Ask Tundra Nation. Not Ask Tundra Nation, it's just going to be called The Tundra Nation. Duh. Um, and uh, to answer your question, Tony, uh, probably in a couple more weeks, right around episode probably 98, uh, is when we'll start posting links to the new channel. I don't want to have it sitting up there uh, too long with, with you know zero subscribers and no content because that could potentially hurt the channel in the future. So, wonderful question. Um, we will, uh, I think we'll do, yeah, let's do one more. Let's do one more here. Uh, we'll go with, uh, arms get me hard. Well done on the name, sir. Uh, he wants to know when are y'all going to do tactical stuff on the Tundra? So there is a long time running joke, um, for good reason, for good reason that we don't, you know, we're the only shooting channel out there that doesn't actually shoot guns. Uh, we used to do it a lot. Uh, don't really do it a whole lot anymore. Uh, and there's a very specific reason for that. There's actually two very specific reasons for that. Um, number one, I am not at the point where I have a ton of time with a new little baby girl uh, and a whole lot of money, especially with that new baby girl. Hopefully the YouTube channel can change that in some way, shape or form, but we'll see. Patreon.com backslash Tundra Tactical today. Um, so the, the ammunition that I have is, you know, kind of my backup stuff. I don't want to go through that. don't want to spend it. Uh, and I don't have, you know, a sponsor generous enough yet to, uh, to toss a bunch of ammunition our way. The other thing is we do things a little different on the range. We shoot normally with a crew. So I have a camera guy, I have a sound guy, uh, a couple of other people, and it's relatively difficult to get all of those things coordinated together, uh, for a day at the range, especially during the winter time when it's extremely cold, uh, not just like cold, not just like, Hey, it's 10 degrees out, but no, it's like 42 or 43 below zero. A lot of the times, uh, when we're out on, uh, on the farm, uh, with giant gusts of wind, you know, it's with wind chill, by the way. Um, it sucks. And then you can't run a camera when it's that cold either because your battery just goes like that. Uh, or the camera fails completely because it's too cold to operate. So that's one of the reasons why we don't shoot as many videos, uh, on shooting as we did in the past. Once I get out to Nevada, however, that is all going to be changing. I guess I just let the cat out of the bag, uh, but more on that uh, later in a future video. Or if you want to know, ask some questions and ask Tundra Nation, and I will go over a little bit more in detail about how we're going to be reincorporating some of the old school skits that we used to do and uh, shooting videos, uh, doing some reviews, but still keeping that Tundra touch. So I think that's all the time that we have for today, guys. Uh, we're going to leave it there and... Uh, and uh, you guys do your thing. Go on, be safe, be cool. Uh, have a wonderful day and uh, tune in next time for the next episode of Ask Tundra Nation. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, uh, click the notification bell, do all the rest of the stuff, buy our shit on Teespring. Uh, and once again, just keep being you guys. Join the link in the description below. Have a wonderful day and we will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.